Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai, Barakoth, Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai, Baasham, Rekha Kodesh. Give double honors to our beloved teachers, our apostles from Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers in all sincerity, pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. And shalom to the hopeful elect. All the praises is given to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Amen. So be true. So be true. I'd like to name this video. This is going to be basically a testimony. Yeah. The end will come soon. Now this testimony is based on the book of Matthew 24 verse 14 which I you know Lord will I get in a minute but I'm going to start from the top. So it's Matthew 24 verse 14. Now before I start the testimony I'm going to say this As time gets nearer, closer to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai's return, we are all going to become more humble. As the time draws nearer, as the time gets closer and closer, we are all going to be more humbled. All right? So let me tell you what I'm going to start with here. You see this picture here that I took? I stopped it at 144. Alright? And this is the Elders Channel. JMS London Seer 144. Alright? Good. I stopped it there. Early today, my father rang me. You know, he had to speak to me about something and gave me some information. And my brother was there, my older brother. He was there. Now, over the years, I've been telling my brother, my, my mother, my father. My mother's not here anymore. She's passed now, recently. I've been telling him about the truth. And, um, you know, my life changed. They know that my life had changed. So anyway, I was speaking to my father today. He was telling me about bits and pieces. And my brother came on the phone. He said, by the way, I've seen you on camera. I said, what do you mean you see me on camera? He said, I saw you teaching with your brothers. Because he knows I go to camp every every weekend, Lord willing. I manage to go to camp every weekend, right? He knows that. And over the years, I remember my parents used to warn me all the time, be careful, do not go out there in the weather like that. Do not make sure you wrap up well because you're not well. You remember your immune system? You remember what happened to you? And you don't want to be getting worse again. Anyway, I've been hearing all this, yeah? So they know. Because every, every Saturday, Lord willing, I make it to camp, right? So anyway, back to what my brother said. He said to me, I saw you on camera. I saw you teaching. Not teaching, sorry. He saw me with my brothers on, on, um, on, the, on the highways and the byways, all right? He doesn't know highways and byways. He said that on the streets because he knows I go on the streets, right? I said, which, 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 which camp you, you saw me? Which I'm um, who? You sure it's me? He said, yes, I saw you. I said, post me the video. Show me the video. So he sent me the video. And this is the one. And it's how we know that Great Millstone is the greatest Israelite camp in diligence and edifying. Now, he said to me, right, that... He's been watching a couple of camps. He says not he's not he's not delving into it deeply or nothing. 
from time to time he might just click on a video and Hebrew Israelite camp, right? So he said he's watched um, IUIC, he's watched USIPK and, you know, one or two other camps, you know? And over the years, I've told him that I, I'm with Great Millstone. I'm with Great Millstone and I follow Great Millstone. So he knows. I told him about this years ago. So he might have forgotten, but he's been watching a couple of videos. I don't know. Right? So he said he's watching and he says the algorithm, for some reason, well, we know it's not the algorithm. As we all know, it's man, man's going is of the Lord. So when he sent me the video and it said the same thing, how we know that great millstone is the greatest Israelite camp in diligence and edifying. So he said he's been watching other camps, but he said hey, there is something about them that is not right. He said that in the spirit. All right. Now, my brother, now he doesn't even know my channel. He doesn't know my, but he knows that I'm with GMS. All right. He might have forgotten anyway. So we were speaking a little bit on it. And he said to me, one thing I don't understand though is the, is the, the division. I noticed that, you know, everybody wants to be separated, you know, and blah, blah. So I had to explain to him. Right, which he never understood. He didn't understand. I had to explain to him because remember, you know, he's only seen videos. He's not really getting into it. I had to explain to him basically. I said, "Listen, I gave him an example. There's a reason why that all these camps kind of come together because everybody's preaching a different doctrine, right?" And I gave him an example. I said, "Look at the world. You've got different churches in the world, right?" You've got um, jo Jehovah Wickedness. <laughs> if Brother um, Aria is listening to this, he will laugh at me because he used to be in the Jehovah Wickedness Church. So if he watches video, my beloved brother, Aria, he's going to laugh at this, right? You've got the Presbyterian Church, right? You've got the Seventh-day Advertisement, right? That church too. You've got the Catholic Church. You've got the Baptist. You've got New Age, all types of different religions. Right? So I had to explain to him. They're all teaching their own different bits and pieces. All right? So I said it's the same thing within the Israelite community, if you understand what I'm saying. I, I had to make it simple to him. Yeah? The Hebrew Israelites. It's the same thing. You've got a div they all divided. You've got the doctrine and they try to split it up. Some want to do what they want to do, some bits and pieces. And he goes, oh, okay, I understand what you're saying, right? You're going to have many camps, but they're not going to all preach the same thing. I said, it's the same thing from what, what they're doing out in the world. Then he said to me, oh, but hold on, though. But there's going to be, it doesn't mean that everyone is perfect. All right? You're going to have some people that are dishonest. Because the reason I'm saying that, because he knew he used to go to church. Because in, back in the younger days, he used to go to church a lot, right? And I'd some, I believe in something about my brother. He's something spiritual about my brother, all right? I could tell you some things that I, he says to me sometimes. I said, definitely there's something in you, right? There's definitely something in you, okay? And I even told him the fear of the Lord. I even told him about the fear of the Lord. And I spoke to my father about it. I said, would you believe that the Lord has called me into this truth? And would you believe that the Lord might want you? The Lord might want my father. Even though you're not doing the work right now, right? Because I've been telling him this for the past, what, six years, seven years. I said, the Lord might want you. And the Lord is using me to wake you up. And it's either the Lord could keep me or the Lord could discard me. And I explained to him about fear of the Lord. And he said to me, I know what you're saying is true. Right? Because he said to me, I know you've been telling me this from ages ago. So I said to him, this is so spiritual. You must take this into consideration. I said, no, this is, this is not my chance. Man's going of the Lord.
because it is written, but because it said something like how we know that great millstone, and because he's told me about the algorithm. So he clocked on that. Because he's been watching a couple of videos, and you know there's been a lot of clashes going on between Great Millstone and other other camps. Right? The algorithm picked it up. And then he saw me. He saw the name Great Millstone. And then he told me about it. You see how the spirit moves right around? The spirit, brothers, is not stagnant. The Holy Spirit is always on the move. It flows. It's live. It's a living power, that Holy Spirit. You don't know who is watching you. So, if my own brother, my biological brother saw me, what is the Lord seeing? What is the how about Sham Yashai seeing? So anyway, I was amazed. I was speaking to him. I was shocked. And so he's talking about um, IUIC, IUIC, um, USIPK. And then we start to talk about um, Bishop Elder Bishop Nathaniel. And I said, that, you know, he said that he's a camp that deals with numbers. And I didn't go too into depth. But he never knew. But he said to me, yeah, I noticed about that group. They tend to, they're very flashy and blah, blah, blah. I said, but you have to be careful about that same man there, the head of that group. He used to preach alongside my head apostle, Elder Apostle Tahar. Right? He used to preach alongside him. But now he's moved off to doing his own thing. Right? Because I explained to him it's all about that's why they, they, they've got numbers because they're they, they, the way they dress, their, their attire, they look flashy. And that comes with money. If you bring in the numbers, you're going to get more money. So I explained to him. And he goes, oh, that's a point. I never knew that. I knew he was very, that man, that camp there is very, a very big congregation. Right? So I had to tell him some more basic things about, that's why you have to follow the doctrine. Because GMS, they, they, they keep the doctrine to 100%. To the best of their ability to 100%. Right? Okay? And you know what I'm talking about. Because we could say, I told him about the, the, uh, the high holy days. And the Sabbath days. And bits and pieces. Right? And he seemed very keen. Very keen. Very keen. You know? So. That was a testimony to talk about. That you, you'd be surprised. The Lord is in control of time. The Lord, our power, is in control of that sequence. He's in control of the algorithm. Who will hear, will hear, you know, in his time. You know, sometimes, you know, you have the saying, people come, people go. We have to fear our Heavenly Father. Yeah, so if my beloved brother, Elder Dawada, never put that, you see, the, you see how it went out because of the algorithm, because he put down on his individual, because he doesn't go live, he does it individually, and it came out how we know that Great Millstone is the greatest Israelite camp in diligence and edifying. You see how that is so spiritual, and that same day too. If I'm, if uh, I don't know if I'm wrong, all right, because this is a couple. I think this is the week before. This is when the police, we were, the police were called to our camp. Somebody reported us, right? And spiritually speaking, Saturday gone, the main camp, GMS London forecasters, we had to move out of the park because somebody, because of laws and regulations. We had to go, we were pushed out to the side. So now, for the spirit, we're going to have to move to another place again. All right? That is a, that's the time we're living in. Right? But I tell you what, the, the, the preachers are not going to be pushed in the corner anymore. The teachers. 
Because the word is going out. The word is going out. So no matter who, it doesn't matter how far or near, the word is going out. You'd be surprised even down to your next door neighbor. You see, the Lord is so powerful. Something so close to you, somebody won't hear. Somebody so far away from you, they hear, or vice versa. Would you believe my immediate, my immediate next door neighbors? Sometimes I see them every second for the day. And would you believe that sometimes I don't see my neighbors for like maybe three weeks straight? No matter how I go in and out my door, I don't see them for three weeks straight. The Lord is about timing. When the Lord wants you to hear something or he wants you to see something, it will happen. Nothing is going to start or finish before it's time. Okay? I'm talking too much now. Talking too much. But I'm just showing you how, you know, that news is getting out there. Now, this is... Oh, let me get to it now. Let me get to Matthew. Let me get to Matthew. <laughs> Matthew 24, 6 to 14. And ye shall hear, and there's so many things to this, this these, these verses I'm reading. There's so many what we could look into. Because this is the time now. Matthew, Matthew 24, 6, verse 14. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that, see that be ye be not troubled, for these things must come. To pass, but the end is not yet. And we are gearing up ourselves. Like when the police come up, yeah, we know that they're doing their job. But we're not fearing these things. But we know it will get worse and worse. Right? For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. We are seeing these things now. We are seeing these things. And soon to come is going to be the famine of the word. So I even said to my brother, do you know it's a spiritual thing how you caught this? And he, oh, and he said to me, so I said to him, do you have the do you have my my apostles um, main channel? He said, no, 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 no. Send me them, send me all the links, send me all the links, send me everything you want to send. So I gave him the um oh, and that's that's one of the reasons why I didn't give him my channel. Because I wanted him to learn, because I know my channel, because I gave him, I'm sure I gave him one of the GMS channels, but anyway, I gave him the Apostles channel to start with, all right? The head, you know, the Apostles main teaching that they do every week, I gave him that channel, all right? To start off with. So if he needs anything else, he can always call me and I'll talk to him, all right? Okay? This is why he must fear the Lord. The Lord could be using me. To help him to get into the into the truth. The Lord can be using me. <laughs> be not above yourself, man. Be not above yourself. Famines and the word a famine of the word is coming, and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things must come. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Like I said, the same thing we, um, we was on a midweek camp with Elder Dawada. Yes. And in the last week, the camp, Elder Laban, the weekend camp, the same thing. The police came to us uh, the Thursday and the police came to us on Saturday, one after the other. Because of what? The Lord's sake, the namesake of the Lord. Yeah. Because of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Right? Not lodge Christ bless. Yahweh Basham Yahushai in the names of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and be and shall hate one another. And that's gonna happen as time gets drawer nearer and nearer. Brothers are gonna start to hate each other, right? Start to go against each other for whatever reason. Brothers are going to start hating each other. This is all scriptural. All right, this is why we have to fear. Sometimes I have to check myself because am I really right to a brother? 
Am I really treating a brother right? I have to check myself every minute. Because you don't want to offend a brother. You do not want to offend a brother. Right? You have to respect a brother because you don't know who is who. The law could be using. Listen to me. I don't have to go, go into it again. All right? Things like this. This is this, you, you know, as we said, the saying, you can't make things up like this. You can't make it up. Like I said, when I mentioned the example a while ago, you see, I forgot what I wanted to say about my neighbors. When the Lord is ready to cross that path, you will see that person. When that Lord is ready for X marks the spot, nothing is going to stop it from hearing, forbearing, or what? The Lord, nothing's going to stop it. And nothing is going to come in between the Lord, Yahweh, Basham, Yahshai. Nothing. Right? And they shall be, be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. This is going to be coming. This is going to come. So we can't be shocked in these days when we see certain things. And I tell you what, I say it before. A lot of us are going to be humbled in the last days. You're going to see some spiritual things that is going to humble you and put fear into you. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. All right? And that's what my brother was saying to me. He, said, he goes, hold on there. Because uh, I was telling him about the division and everything like that. He said to me, but hold on, but you're going to have people even within the congregation too that is, that is going to be deceiving. And I had to say, you know, let me tell you something. That is, is all in the scriptures. Right? It's all in the scripture. This is why we have to fear our heavenly father. All right? And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure to the end, unto the end, the same shall be saved. This is why we don't know our end. This put fear into me. I've been telling my brother about this for the past six years, my family. Okay? Right? I used to tell my father about chariots. He never believed it until I saw, showed him some, some, um, some videos. And it shocked him. But it still hasn't touched him yet. Yeah? But this put fear into me because my brother doesn't know nothing at all. And now he saw this video. Right? But he that endure unto the end is all about the end, brothers. It's all about the end. As I said before, as time gets closer, we are, I, I'm talking for myself too. I'm going to be more humbled. And I beg for more humbleness. I beg for more sincerity towards a brother. I beg, no, first and foremost, to make sure that I'm doing the right thing in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. Please our Heavenly Father, brothers. Do not please man. Please our Heavenly Father and His beloved Son. Because the Lord, our Heavenly Father, will never, ever let you down. Okay? Man will let you down. We keep keeping it real enough. Remember the scriptures that our hearts are deceit. That's why, that's why I keep on saying, right? Listen, I don't even trust myself. I don't even trust myself. There's many things I've done. I say I'm not going to do and I end up doing it. I can't even trust myself. You know why? Because my heart is deceitfully wicked. My, my, my brain is so mixed up and corruptible and everything. That's why I need Yahweh Shai. I'm not being a fucking hypocrite here. I'm not being a fucking hypocrite. The Lord could be using me for certain things. And it's either the Lord has mercy on me and keep me or he gets he does away with me. I don't know. But he that in, shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. None of us know our end. 
Yeah? None of us know. I'm very, I'm very persuaded about that. I'm a brother here. I lack knowledge. I lack wisdom. I lack understanding. But that's one scripture I do fully persuaded in. He that endures to the end. Your end could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. We pray that we are in the truth. We're serving the Lord sincerely to the best of our ability. That's all we hope. This is the one I want to get now. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end come. You see, when the Lord wants you to hear something, there's nothing going to stop you. You could hide under the biggest bamboo tree. All right? You could hide under the, 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 the biggest pumpkin seed. Yeah? The Guinness Book of Record pumpkin seed. You could hide under that. You could hide under your mattress. You could dig the deepest hole ever and hide under that. There is nothing going to stop you from not hearing the truth before the Lord comes back. There is nothing, and the Lord is a power. He's a fair power. All right? He's a fair power. If the Lord removes you from the truth, you can't do fuck all about it. If the Lord keeps you in the truth, you can't do nothing about it. The Lord is the one that keeps you going to the end, or He removes you away. But the Lord is a fair power. The gospel is going to go out to all nations. I never knew my brother would have come across this video here, seeing me. And that encouraged him to even go deeper. Give me the give me more, give me more links, give me more links. And I gave him the, the apostles channel. And I hope and pray that that seed has even gone even deeper. Because I planted a seed a long time ago. But I pray that seed has even gone even deeper. Right? That it grows. That's all I'm praying. Because nothing is impossible with the Lord. Nothing. You remember the scriptures? You know, the Lord can make a poor man rich. The Lord can make a rich man poor. If you want to talk about finances... Finances, the law, but we talk about spirit, spirit, spirituality, riches, the kingdom riches, the law can make you, because the people of this world, they are poor, but you want that spiritual riches, which is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord is the one that gives the increase. So the law could use you to help somebody, right? And from there they grow. And we have to continue to fear the Lord. Continue to fear Him. I know it's all about the place. I'm overwhelmed. And I, I'm sure I've left out certain things now. I'm sure I've left out a lot of things to say. But I'm saying just fear the Heavenly Father. The Lord is doing His work. <laughs> the, Lord is, the Lord is always He's in perfection. Right? When the Lord is ready for an X marks that spot, there's nothing going to stop it. Right? Now, if the beloved brother, Ella Dawada, didn't do this lesson, the camp lesson on that day, Thursday, last week, how we know that Great Millstone is the greatest Israelite camp in diligence and edifying. And we know that. My brother wouldn't have seen that because he told me because of the algorithm. That's how he said he got it. And then he saw me. That's man's going to the Lord. All right. Hope this is edifying. Salaki so for jumbling all around the place. Salaki so about that. But that's all I have to say. So shalom um, to our beloved apostles of Great Millstone. Um, and to our sincere brothers on the highways and the byways. Pushing this true gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. And shalom to the beloved um, sisters also. And the children. All right. Shalom.